Hi guys and welcome back to Tangy Tea of Life. I'm Veronica and my co-host Brittany had other things to do tonight so I'm here alone tonight holding it down. I'm gonna give you the tea. I have a special guest tonight, Dominique McFarland. Hey everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by D. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate it. You're so welcome. So tonight guys, we're gonna be talking about a very touching subject losing a child now d i'm not going to even try to tell your story i'm going to let you tell your story to everyone that don't know your story of how your family you and your family lives got changed like just like that overnight so i'll let you tell your um your story to everyone okay um yeah, on july 6 almost two and a half years ago um, I took my son, well, I took all of my children at the time uh, to the beach for my oldest son, his name was Mikey's, uh birthday, his 17th birthday, and um, we just went to have an average day to celebrate his birthday, and um, things quickly changed. We got to the, um, to the water maybe about 2 o'clock. By 2.20, our whole lives was, um, as we know it, no longer um, the way that it was. Both of my sons perished um, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, due to a riptide current. Um, we still, uh, of course, have both of our daughters, um, Mikea and Nevea. She's four now, and Mikea is 22. Um, but anyway, just to kind of piggyback off of what you were saying, as far as losing the child, it's very difficult. Um, that day literally did change our lives, and I'm still trying to, we are all still trying to cope with what we call the new normal. Um, it takes a lot of counseling. I'm still in therapy twice a week. Um, it takes a lot of support. You cannot do this by yourself. You have to have a good support system. You have to have a good foundation with prayer. And I know a lot of people are opposed when you first lose your child, you don't want to pray. You mm -hmm. feel like, okay, we serve this grand God, then where was he? So um, you kind of shun from the very thing that you're really going to need later and you need during that time. So. Um, that's pretty much how I've been living my life, trying to use this uh, tragedy, um, change it into, I don't want to really say triumph, but it's turned to purpose to help other families um, during their time of loss and get to a place where they can try to accept it and, and live this now new normal. Right. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's difficult. You know, I can't even imagine what you all been through. Mm -hmm. And you just you seem so strong and even just looking at you um even when i came over to the house mm -hmm. when it happened and you just had that spirit of just uplifting spirit like if you saw someone crying you went to comfort them yeah instead of someone comforting you and you i, I just know it's your faith like your faith is Absolutely. so strong mm -hmm. And that's what people need. Like they need that faith, and and that's to, to losing anyone. Right. You, know, you right. have to have that faith right. to 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 move on, and and you know go day by day lives. Absolutely. I often like to say too, um, when I do uh, minister at different churches, or I like to say give my testimony at different churches or wherever I'm invited and especially uh, in our organization dealing with so many families um, per month or whether online or however they choose to reach out. Um, I hear a lot that you're strong, you seem so strong, you seem like you're fine, mm -hmm. but honestly, the stronger you seem to be, the weaker you are. Mm -hmm. And I like to be transparent. When I do talk to the families of the moms, and I, I always say, I say moms a lot because men grieve differently. Right. They don't, they internalize it and they don't like to be on, not display, but be out in the forefront yeah. as they grieve because to them, in a sense, it makes them look weak. Right. But for me, I'm very transparent. If I'm hurting, I say I'm hurting. And I do have a select group of um, my family members and very, my circle is very small with friends that they may actually see me in a weaker place. Mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. too, as I encourage our parents, everybody don't deserve the right to see you um, tore up or to see 
you fall apart. Right. You don't have the honor and the privilege right. to be in my space like that. Right. You have to earn that. Yeah. I have to know that you love me and yeah. trust. It, 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 it takes time. It takes time to build a friendship, mm -hmm. uh, let alone just business relationship, having an organization and everything else. You can't let everybody in your personal inner circle like that. Yeah. So if I, you see me shed a tear, I'm... I'm, I'm crying or if I see you I count it as an honor and a privilege to be in that space with you I don't take that for granted right so you know I've asked God to give me discerning of who just wants a story right. or who just want to see where I'm going in order to piggyback off that because to you it's a story mm -hmm. for us it's our life right every day so I take that personal yeah and I do later on God will expose it and show you who is who so I'm, I'm confident in knowing he has my back. And like you said, the faith uh, that we share in God is incredible. Um, it keeps me lifted up to keep continuing to help the families that we serve. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's important that you just said, letting, you know, not letting anyone and everybody see that, that part of your life. Yeah. Like, that's very important. It is. It is. You know, you don't let any and everybody see that because some people, let's be honest, they live for that. Like, they, they live do. to see the bad in people or, mm -hmm. I don't know if I should say the bad. Is that the word? Uh, I'll say. Not the bad, but. They just want to see. I guess some people genuinely want to know, you've been exuding this strength for something. She got to be weak. Is she real? I mean, can I pinch her? She mm -hmm. gonna cry? And it's not that I'm not human. Like right. I said, it's just who you choose to let in. So yeah. I think the word that you, you chose to use is on point. Yeah. Um, it's just, mm, <laughs> it's just a select, like I said, it's just a select few mm -hmm. that has that. And that's how it should be, honestly. Yeah, yeah. It, even, if, even if you hadn't lost a child or a family member, some people don't know grief like that as of yet. But if you keep living long enough, you will in yeah. some way. Um, just in girlfriend circles, just your friends, you have to be careful who you choose yes. to be in your life. Yeah. Period. Who you let in. Because some people want to go back and say, I knew she wasn't who she said she was because they saw you at a weak moment because right. you're human. Yeah. So you have to be yeah, very and, sensitive. And not to cut you off, but that's funny because, say, like my group of friends, uh -huh. there's five of us. And like certain things, I don't tell these three or these four, but I tell this one. Yeah. We all best friends, but it's just certain things that, you know, you just feel comfortable telling. Certain ones. Certain different ones. ones serve different purposes in your life. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's beautiful, though. Yeah. yeah. It is. And mm -hmm. then, are y'all the kind of friends where have you ever had an issue where one got not jealous of the other one, like, you didn't call me. You didn't spend more time with me. Well, man. they may not say it, but you can kind of, <laughs> yeah. you can kind of feel it. You yeah, know? got you. But, um, yeah. I got you. You hear that, Michelle? <laughs> she drank a tea, so that means she's serious. As it. I sip my tea. <laughs> so what advice would you give other parents that lost um, their children or child? From my heart, um, from my heart to yours, if you are watching, I first like to say, you can't do this by yourself. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost impossible. This thing will, if you're not careful, it'll cause you to be suicidal. Um, it'll cause you to implode on the inside. It'll make you angry. It'll make you bitter. Um, it'll change the whole dynamics of you as a person. Your personality will change. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't do this by yourself. You need to seek help. If you don't have the type of family members that can be positive, you also have to also watch your the energy you're around, the space you're in, because you can go into a place and you might be having a good day. And depends on where you go throughout that day, you tapped into the wrong atmosphere and it'll change your whole day i call those trigger points you have to be careful like me for example and i'll say this because like i told you i'm transparent one of my triggers is hearing running water too long mm. i know i don't like that i know why i don't like oh, it yeah um when you've been around sounds like in my case we were around a lot of sounds we were around the ocean mm -hmm. um 
different bird sounds. Anything can be a trigger point. If you know, say for instance, I, I've gotten invited to several social events or speaking engagements at the beach. I decline, I'm not ready. You have to be bold enough to say, I can't, or just flat out, no, I yeah. can't do that. You have to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. So you need to surround yourself. If you're a parent that has lost a child, um, a great support system, a lot of prayer, be open to that. You have to, like I tell the parents, um, during our personal circle time, and I'll, say, I'll share this because I do believe in confidentiality, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna share this little piece to help somebody who may be watching that hasn't heard this yet. Mm -hmm. um, you have to really be honest with where you are. And I know if you're upset um, with God, you have to forgive yourself and forgive God for his decision saying no. Or you might thought he should have healed your child. Or you might thought he could have saved them. You have to forgive him for his decision because he knows what's best for you. Mm -hmm. Not that losing a child is best for you. That's not what I'm saying. But he knows the bigger picture of your life. Yeah. And he knows the puzzle pieces. And I don't think God kills people, children. I don't think he takes them away to make your life better or teach you a lesson. I think we live in an evil world, in a negative atmosphere, where the enemy, which is Satan, is in the atmosphere. He's over the atmosphere as we know it. And bad things happen to good people. Mm -hmm. God is, that's not his being. He's order. He's not at all going around taking people, children from them. Right. But you have to forgive him for his decision not to do what you thought he should have done. Mm -hmm. So that has really helped me so much because I was so angry at first. And I didn't want to go to church. I didn't want to do anything because I felt like this is hell for all of us. Yeah. I don't understand this. But as I began to know that I am not the higher being. I don't know everything. All of this has to work together for my good according mm -hmm. to the scripture. So mm -hmm. that's that's what I would like to say to them. Because they say God makes no mistakes. You know. So you know, it feel like it, it feel yeah. like this was not right. Somebody should have did something. It hurts. Um it's hard to wake up every day and put your foot in front of the other. And honestly I noticed this about myself personally. If I get up in the morning and I can tell by my makeup how well it is put on, the day that certain days that if it's done too good, I'm hurting really bad that day because I needed to put my mask on just mm. right. So people have a tendency to be critical and judgmental and think grief looks a certain way, mourning yeah. looks a certain way, but that what does it look like right it looked like me sitting here right now like we was laughing in the beginning with your face beat to the guys yeah. but when you get in the car and go home you tore up three o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. so grief has no look yeah it's just i notice when i do certain things that go the extra mile that might be the day where i'm at my weakest point so you can't be judgmental this whole thing has changed my life mm -hmm. it's taught me not to be critical of other people get to know people don't go about what other people says about someone else get to know them and i had to say right. my name is dominique mcfarland and i was critical i was judgmental i didn't know her i didn't know him i thought i did from what other people were saying but it's important to get to know people for yourself yeah. so this has changed my life in a thousand ways um in in good ways honestly that might you know people might not understand that but my son's uh legacy will live on yeah. i want to be the best person i can be to represent them um to represent our family and be the best we can be so i just appreciate this opportunity to be able to oh, yeah. use your platform i thank you so much to be able to reach more families you're so welcome and speaking of reaching families you have um hello again organization mm -hmm. so i would like for you to tell um our viewers more about about your organization um hello again okay um hello again is simply an organization that was birthed from um out of out of my pain um god allowed me to find purpose in my pain by helping and ministering to other families such as myself other mothers such as myself and fathers are welcome as well we don't leave the fathers out once again of course they're welcome 
Um, but we have, we serve over 2,000 members in Hello Again as of today. Mm -hmm. We have um, the Moms of the Month, where we nominate a mom every month to get her hair done or her nails done or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be, just so she can feel joy for mm -hmm. a little while. It, it might not be long, but it's enough for you to relax and just breathe a little bit. Mm -hmm. We also provide free grief counseling for our families as well as the siblings, especially because oftentimes the siblings are forgotten about. Yes. So... We really are focusing this year more on um, the siblings because, of course, we have two girls um, and their brothers have transitioned, so I really want to put more emphasis on that. We also um, we have prayer every other Monday um, at 8 o'clock on our Hello Again conference prayer call line. Also, we have video chats twice a month where our moms from different states can get on the video chat since they're not able to be here locally in public to our um, quarterly meetings every three months that we host here um, they can get on video chat and we all get on there and give each other different coping mechanisms and strategies on how to get through the month to get through the year and prayerfully through the next year um, we do a lot of things we send out um, we have a card ministry where out of the blue a mama receive a card in the mail mm -hmm. you know it might be a day where she having an awful, uh, awful day or off grief day mm -hmm. and she get that card knowing that man I know I'm in a group or organization and it's almost 2,000 of us so I'm not by myself if Dominique can get up every morning if Sharon can get up right. every morning if uh, Tisha can get up every morning Rebecca and the rest of the moms then I can do it too right. just one more day so mm -hmm. that's what our organization is about so and going back to the siblings because okay. I know well I don't know right the siblings have a, a hard time as well as the parents because that's mm -hmm. their brother or their sister who they lost um, this the hello again organization are kids allowed or is it just for adults for our quarterly meetings that we have which is every three months um, that's our social time special time for the mom's fellowship um, that we have just for the mothers but uh, this year we're being proactive where we're going to start having meetings for the siblings to come as well um, and I learned a lot from my, our oldest daughter just watching her and what she deals with on a daily basis it start pricking my heart it always has but pricking my heart to be more proactive with the siblings instead of just the parents and what we'll do for the siblings is provide counseling for them as well or even a counseling buddy because sometimes what like my daughter what she may could say to someone else she might can't say to me but in that case we have a good relationship so she can come to me but not every child feels comfortable right. a lot of our siblings are dealing with survivor's guilt uh, for example like with my daughter, her and her brothers were very, very close. Them was her partners, them not just her brothers. These were people in her life that were proactive. They were her brothers. She looked out for them. So it's a, it's a difference um, with that. So sometimes the siblings have more of a bond than, than they do with their parents because they know each other's secrets. Where like my kids and my aunt might have told my kids stuff that I don't know anything about to this right. day and she's loyal to that. Right. So we want to really put more emphasis on the siblings uh, this year and I want my daughter, I would love for her to be more proactive in talking with them to help you know, her with her own grief and her own time. So yeah. it's very important that it's not just about the moms or the, the parents in general, it's about the family, healing the family. Mm -hmm. And that's how we came up with our name, Hello Again, as well. Um, it simply means, hello, you're reintroducing yourself to life in this way. Hello, my name is Dominique, mm -hmm. and I'm coming back in life again in my broken place, in this new space, in this new normal, hurt, wounded, but I choose to live every day and say hello again to life. So that's how we came up with the name. Uh -huh. Nice. So is there a number? like? Uh, um, we have a... We have a website. We're working on a number now because the calls got so, the volume of calls got so heavy. Mm -hmm. I didn't want everybody having my personal cell phone okay, number. Okay, so it's your personal number. But yeah. you all do have a website where parents we do, can go. We okay. do. And uh, the website is www.helloagain.com. Um, you also can find us on Facebook, um, facebook.com forward slash hello again as well. You have an event coming up in February. We do. Actually, it's a um, it's our first annual meet and greet 
of 2019 for the um, new parents that we have. We have about 40 new parents that just joined as of this year. Um, also, the, the local parents that are former Hello Again members that have been with us since the inception of it um, come together. We, we have refreshments. We give each other different strategies and, like I said, coping mechanisms of how to get through. Uh, we just have heart-to-hearts and we love on each other. We hug each other. We pray. Um, we stand up and uh, we do a, like a repeat after me segment during that time to draw strength from each other. I won't give it all because it is confidential, but it's a safe place for you to fall apart and not have it be repeated everywhere. It's a place you can come and say, you know, I need help or how do you do it and just cry, laugh, and feel like, you know, you can find hope. So that's coming up um, actually February the 2nd from 2 to 5. And it's going to be in Darlington, 1035 Timminsville Highway in Darlington. It starts at 2. And um, the moms and the fathers are welcome. And they can also bring a support buddy if they choose to. Okay. So this is only for adults? Yes, this is only for adults. Okay. But we are also having um, our Hello Again Family Fest. That's coming up April 27th. That's for the family. It's a jeans and t-shirt event. They can order Hello Again shirts. We have spoken word. We have an international guest flying in from Australia to speak um, to the siblings. She'll be here in person this year. Um, we also have uh, praise and worship from Endure. Um, we have an MC. His name is Terry Davis. He's uh, with the Door of Hope. Bishop Michael Blue is our bishop, but he's going to um, MC. And what else we have? We have a whole lot of stuff going on. We're going to have a photo booth where people can get in and have long-lasting memories with the Hello Again logo on the bottom of it. Uh, we also have a game truck for the kids as well. So it's going to be geared for the family. Nice. That is awesome. Um, Hello Again. And that website again? It's uh, www.helloagain23.com. And if you're in the, the Darlington, Florence area, um, if you would like to attend um, Dominique's event, hello again. Yes, um, please feel free. February 2nd. 2nd. Mm -hmm. And that address again? 1035 Timminsville Highway, and that's Darlington, South Carolina. All right, guys. Well, we just want to say that we are, we will be praying for you, uh, for you that lost a loved one, a child, or or a mom or dad is someone Absolutely. in 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 your life you know you feel down right now but you just have to keep that faith and pray to god and 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 keep that strength mm -hmm. you may seem like you're you're down right now and dominique i'm quite sure you can talk more about this than than yeah. i can but i mean i've i've lost loved ones mm -hmm. um you know my grandmothers and you know but you just have to pray and, and and keep your strength because like you said you will get lost you will that grief will consume you it if you don't if it's not channeled in a good way you either going to be on one extreme one extreme or the other you're going to be you're going to turn for the good or it's going to be the worst you've ever been in your life so you don't even recognize yourself and some days you will go through the five five stages of grief where you're angry you got to accept it and the memories and all of that, we'll discuss that at the meet and greet as well. But you go through all of them in one day. And sometimes it actually makes you feel like you have a mental illness. Mm -hmm. Because I can be smiling at 9 o'clock in the morning. By 2.30, I might be hyperventilating. By 6 o'clock, I got insomnia. By 10 o'clock, I'm happy again. So it's it's an a emotional roller coaster. And you need somebody that you can be transparent with. It's like, because you've carried that child for nine months. They're a part of you. And for, to have them snatched away however they left this world, mm -hmm. you'll never get over that. So I would like to say, too, to the people that are listening, stop telling people it's going to get better in time mm -hmm. or they'll get over it. Everybody has a different relationship yeah. with their child. You don't know where people are. The least of the thing that you say, it can send them over the edge. You have to be careful with your words. Yeah. Because what I've learned is we I've had encounters myself or with several parents that somebody said the wrong thing we actually had a um session in one of our meetings i called it um a session called dummies 101 the dumb things people say because i like to get in we, we like to get raw about this if you don't know what to say the best thing is not to say anything, not to say anything. 
don't say nothing. Just smile and give them a hug and say, yeah. I don't know what to, I accept that better from you. If you say, yeah. Dominique, I don't know what to say. But I just want to give you a hug better than you coming and saying, it going to be better in time and you can have another baby. I done heard it all. You can have oh. another son. You don't know my situation. I might can't have right. no more kids. You don't know that. Right. But be sensitive to people's yeah. feelings and where they are. So I would like to encourage everybody to think before you speak. Think before you speak. Mm -hmm. Very important. Mm -hmm. Well, Dee, we thank you so much. Thank you. For thank coming. you for having me. And I know Brittany, you know, hate that she missed it, but I, I hate her. we miss her. I hate <laughs> I missed her too. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm so glad you stopped by, and and hopefully, if you know, you touch a lot of people um, with your with your story. I don't care if it just touched one person. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> as long as it touched someone, and guys, just make sure that you. Um, Go to Dominique's website, www.helloagain23.com. And we have a lot of activity on our Facebook page. Uh, you have to get approval for that, but we do have a community page. That's Hello Again 2, where you can see what we're doing in the community, how we're giving back. You haven't lost a child, but you want to know, hey, what's Hello Again doing? You can check out the Hello Again 2 page. If you have lost a child, just simply send us um, a request that you want to join. It's free. Everything we do for our families is free of charge. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, Dee, thank you so much. Once again, you all go to the website, and um, you have to reach out to someone. You cannot do it alone. Please. So reach out to um, Dominique's organization, Hello Again. Guys, thank you so much for watching Tangy Tea of Life. You can go to our email address for um, if you would like to be a guest. Topic suggestions, go to, what is it? Tangy Tea of Life at <laughs> Tangy Tea of Life at gmail.com. Leave comments below and please got please subscribe and um, click on that bell so that you can get notifi notifications when our next video come out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I enjoyed welcome. my